Operations Supply Chain Management Conference. Um, I see that we have uh, all of the speakers in the room. Three exciting presentations uh, today. Um, we can uh, communicate any questions you may have for the speakers uh, in the chat function. Um, if you don't want to write the entire question there, just write your name and I can, uh, I can uh, introduce uh, any questions uh, thereafter. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Professor Daryl Powell from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and Research Manager at Sintef Manufacturing here in Norway. Uh, long background in lean manufacturing and quality management, so I'm looking forward to these uh, interesting presentations today. Uh, so without further ado, I think our first presenter will be uh, Tanya Thor. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and yes, your uh, presentation, uh, the title of your paper is Integrating the Voice of the Customer Questionnaire Survey for yes. Developing Customer Need Quality Function Deployment and Sustainable New Product Development. Very exciting uh, and important topic given the sustainability the development goals uh, that everybody is working towards today. So over to you, Tanya Thor. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to share in my slide. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Chairman, uh, distinguished participants and guests. My name is Tanya Thorn from Satit Gun from the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Graduate School of the System Design, Tokyo Metropolitan University. Today is my great pleasure and honor to be here to discuss uh, with all of you on the topic of the integration of voice of customer questionnaire survey for developing the customer needs, quality function deployment, or CNQFD on a sustainable new product development. Oh, sorry. Okay. Firstly, let's see the outline of this research. What are we going to discuss during the next few minutes? We start with the introduction, including the statement of the problems, current design situation, research objectives, methodology with the conceptual flow diagram of the uh, a new product development. We're focusing on the questionnaire survey and customer need quality function deployment or CNQFD, results and discussion, and finally the conclusion and recommendation. Um, as we all know, the most popular cosmetic item which was found in the woman's bag is lipstick with a percentage of about 15.5%. And uh, moreover, in general, the women don't have much time to reapply the lipstick frequently, especially in the public and uh, lash out after eating and uh, or in the winter. Here is the current design situation. It is the conventional lipstick design, which is not convenient and it needs to open with both hands. It also takes time to open. And the big problem is the lipstick waste, uh, lipstick waste uh, which stuck or left over at the compartment. About one fourth of the content that's uh, normally thrown away. The main research uh, objective are to create an effective voice of customer questionnaire survey and analysis with the CNQFD and to construct the final CNQFD to identify, evaluate all possible uh, design options to minimize the non used lipstick content with the required criteria. Now we have come to the methodology. Uh, this result is a combination of the stretch of the uh, Turlat questionnaire methodology and the hybrid QFD were considered. And then uh, 
uh, developed as the supporting tool named CNKFD. The detail can be summarized as follows. The first step, let the uh, small group discussion to do the open-end questions and do the survey questionnaire design again with the course and question. Then collect and analysis the data. After that, we will get the usable engineering specification and customer needs for design proposed on QFD. And after that, we will use those uh, data to use as the input of the uh, customer needs quality function deployment or CNQFD. Finally, we will get the new design open hand lipstick packaging by using SolidWorks software. For the, uh, product and got the production uh, prototype by using 3D printer. Here is the conceptual diagram of design on a sustainable new product development. It starts with the problem and the uh, uh, current design situation to create the good uh, questionnaire design with open and uh, closed-end question. Then we initiated 25 questions and 15 engineering characteristics. After that, uh, we um, cut the useless question out according to the procedure. And we do the survey and uh, correct analysis the data again using the CNQFD method for the alternative design from uh, combination table techniques. Finally, we can get the best uh, possible design prototype by using uh, the SolidWorks software and 3D printer. This table shown the CNQFD supporting tool. It is the combination uh, between the TALAT questionnaire methodology and the hybrid QFD. It is separate in the three parts. The first part is the open-end question. The second part is the uh, closed-end question. The last one is the supporting QFD. We can see that the first part and the second part the stakeholder mostly are the uh, respondents or the customer needs, which means we can get the real customer uh, opinions. Let's start with the uh, CNQFD. The first step, we let the focus group to list the quality dimensions. And this research, we got the six quality dimension about the product one hand uh, lipstick. Then we let the customer list the uh, critical incident in each the quality dimension as shown in this table. After that, we use those the data to set the questions and engineering objectives uh, up for 25 questions and 15 uh, engineering objectives. Next, we give the relationships between the questions and engineering objectives by putting the symbols. The black one means strong relationship. The white one means a uh, medium relationship. The triangular means uh, weak relationships for all questions. Then we uh, cut the useless question out uh, according to the procedure for our question. After eliminating the questions, only uh, eight questions were left and uh, 17 questions were eliminated from the 25 questions. Next, we do the survey questionnaire design again with the crossing question. The number of respondents in uh, this survey is the 94 respondents. And uh, we let the respondents give the certification level from uh, one to five, as shown here. And we used uh, this data to find the uh, uh, value CJ and QK. 
Then we calculate the average of category CJ and response quality QK. By comparing uh, the, the CJ and QK to search the uh, variation of ECJ, finally we got the seven usable engineering objectives. In the results, after eliminating the uh, questions according to the procedure, we have got the eight remaining questions and the seven engineering objectives as shown in the, this table. For example, easy to use, easy opening method, the modern and beautiful lipstick case, and also the engineering objectives are the uh, dimension of the lipstick case with of the lipstick. Here is the demographic data. And the uh, consumption habits. For example, the function easy to use of 57 uh, people or about 60.6% uh, like the function easy to use a lot, but uh, no one dislike uh, this function easy to use. Here is the step of the customer need priority function deployment or CNQFD. It's starting with identify the customer need, let the importance of those needs, do the competitive ana analysis, let the new design calculate improvement ratio, identify self impact, establish the hierarchy of customer needs, generate the product specification then establish the need specification metric. Determine the influence of each specification and identif identify the specification correlation. Here is the distribution of the CNQFD. We can see, as we can see the length, uh, the top three, top three length of the customer need are the easy to use, easy opening methods, and uh, reduce lipstick waste. Then we can clarify the problem by those the uh, top three customer needs, easy to use, reduce lipstick waste, and easy opening method. Next, we can create the combination table by those uh, customer needs, easy opening method, easy to use video lipstick waste with the function slide up with a uh, flip open uh, method, the loud shape, square, oval, and the mechanism twist or slide up, and also the, uh, the method to reduce the lipstick waste to peel just the, only the top off and all the twist of the plastic ring. Then we got about the 12 design from the combination table as shown in this slide. Now we go to the concept screening metric. We have to set uh, the one of the design as the reference and I chose the uh, design number one as the reference to compare to with uh, other designs. There are four possible design. Design number four, six, nine, and 10 were chosen. This design had the total score of the three, three, uh, four, five, respectively, with the uh, criteria as shown in the below the table. So we go to the concept scoring metric from those design uh, number four, six, nine, and ten. We found that the uh, design number ten was the selected with the highest score. And the criteria of uh, this uh, step as shown in the below table. Here is the uh, combination table of the design number 10. The design number 10 has the flip opening mm -hmm. method and the round shape, the slide up mechanism. 
and uh, twist off the plastic ring. We can draw the uh, selected uh, design number 10 by using the SolidWorks software. And here shown the uh, sleeve and case of the one hand lipstick packaging. After that, we can create the prototype by uh, technology uh, 3D printing and using the 3D printer. Finally, the uh, prototype of the uh, one hand lipstick packaging as shown in uh, this picture with the outer case and the sleeve. The loud shape body uh, is smooth for holding and the opening mechanism is the using the flipping at the top cap, which uh, make it easy to be open in the one hand. In conclusion and uh, recommendation, a combination of Telad questionnaire methodology and uh, hybrid QFD framework were effectively to develop a new product. Effective uh, analysis of the certification uh, survey result pinpoint to the actual customer needs. The modified QFD named CNQFD was then established and got the best one was selected. A prototype of one hand uh, environmental friendly lipstick was the established by using the SolidWorks software and the 3D printer. But there are still some certain points needed to be addressed. Um, the different types of plastic used in the prototype should be further experimented. And the different types of lipstick content should be uh, investigated in terms of the effectiveness, the liability, the filling, and suitability for the using of the one hand uh, lipstick packaging. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Tanya Thorn. It was a very interesting presentation, actually. Um, interesting to see how discovering customer needs really helps design an innovative and new sustainable product. Um, remember, please, everybody, feel free to post your questions in the chat. Um, I, I would maybe like to start a, a question, um, yeah. Tanya Torn. You, you presented the demographic from the questionnaire results. You, you didn't specify if it was males or females. Oh, I uh, was it, actually, was it I, all female? Um, no. Um, actually, I, I identify in the, oh, sorry. in the demographic, uh, ah, sorry. Yeah. Um, it was, in, it was just interesting because I mean, it's, uh, typically females are, uh, are the, the ones yeah, that yeah, use yeah. the most lipstick, I would imagine. But um, certainly in Scandinavia, when it gets cold around this time of the year, males are, are, are using like, uh, I think we call it a chapstick, you know, to protect your, your, your lips from the, from the harsh weather. Um, so, so maybe would have gotten some useful information or useful input from uh, men who are using these types of uh, products. Yeah. Um, Jamilia? My friend from Sweden, you have a question? Jamila? Maybe I need to... Yeah. Uh... yeah, can you hear me? There we go. Yes, we can yeah. hear you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for your presentation, Tanya. I have a question about selection criteria. You mentioned that there were different models and at the end, you selected four, number four, six, I think five and 10. So yes. my question is who selected those four and how can we make sure that there was the right selection? Um, was the main yeah. you, you, you mean this 
uh, this step, right? In in this step, uh, the the researcher will uh, will do this step, and we have to set one of the design as the reference and compare to the other design. This is the general uh, the the QFD method, but uh, in my QFD I thought is the CNQFD. I improve the 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 first part of the QFD to make sure that the input of the QFD is the certainly uh, match with the uh, customer opinion for sure. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Um, anybody else have a question for Tanya Thorn? No, then uh, on behalf of everybody here on the committee, Tanya Thorn, thank you for your presentation. Very interesting. Please keep up the good work. Thank you so much.